welcome back to the basic training for our Wiz IQ. We are now on lesson 228 rectangle and ellipse. Why they call it an ellipse? I suppose it's proper, but I would always call it a circle. Alright, so first of all, our rectangle tool. We looked at that briefly. If you recall, I had already had it at a fill color of another color, and we can certainly set it at fill colors at nothing. It's the way it's normally set up and making no fill colors at all. We can certainly do some fancy shapes. Let's see if I can move this around a little bit to change the color back to white. That's the default, the way it starts, and the way most people use it. And we will then make some rectangles. Let's change the line color to black and obviously you can do that differently. Let's leave it at two first. Um, certainly we can highlight, oop, we made it white. We don't want it white. We want it no fill. So you cannot see it. Shoot. Okay, the very bottom of the um, color list is a no fill, which makes it empty so that we can in fact <laughs> see what we're trying to highlight using that tool. Um, remember too that when we use the select tool and we select our item we can manipulate it, we can move it just by clicking and dragging and getting it out of the way, we can right click it, oh, we should be able to erase it but um, we'll get into that tool later because we can also use our undo buttons let's see what we've got now Okay. So let's create a box with a no fill color and just use it to highlight something. Oh, I'm on select, no wonder. Let's get back on rectangle tool. So we can do some things with that. Those that are graphically inclined are going to be able to do much more. The ellipse key works very similar. Um, here it's defaulted. Uh, it's, the default is no fill. So let's get it back on that. Let's change over to a, a line color that I like. I always like red. And that's not thick enough. I'm going to change it to a thicker color or a thicker line size. And we can make many shapes and things. So um, I'm not real sure how to get it to be just a perfect circle. I guess you just have to do it visually. And then if you want to adjust it, remember we can use the select tool. Click on it and we can play with it. I also use this to create some interesting um, pseudo um, animations. So let's say I created this clock and I'm going to grab a different tool. I'm going to grab a line tool now. And let's say I made just a simple clock. Now, the student view is going to be different than what we see. Where's our student? There it is. Now, watch that line as I move it using the select tool. It's going to look like it's moving. Oh. Ah, the whole clock looks like it's moving. Shoot, I, I thought I could do this. I should be able to do it. Let's get a, let's just make a regular line. Now I'm going to make a regular line and now I'm going to use the select tool and try to change that line so it looks like it's ticking away. <laughs> you can play with that. It Because it, we, we cannot get flash animations in, we can approximate some things because you didn't see me but it, over here I was simply rotating the picture like we have in the past um, but <laughs> this doesn't look very good now and we're about out of time so that's it for the um, rectangle and ellipse